This tutorial has been cut into two parts. Part 1 is about the basic knowledge. Part 2 is about the practice itself. Hello and welcome to my tutorial. I'm Martin W. LaRouche. In this tutorial, I'll show you some possible cases. Actually, three cases. Well, this case is very easy. I'll take the smart brush here. Around here, I'm going to select the nature presets. Then I click on the blue skies option. I check my brush size. 48 looks good. OK. Let me remind you this smart brush tool is available in Photoshop Elements in many releases, but is not available in Photoshop Professional. So, here I go. I click and drag the mouse around, just like that. Here you'll find icons to add or remove areas, areas to be filled with blue or not. To get rid of them, I click on the hand tool here. It's that easy. A new layer has been created automatically. Here the black area is in fact the mask. In order to keep your work, you can save it in the PSD format. This format allows you to rework your photo afterwards, if you need to do so. The JPEG format is a flattened version, but it can be easily shared on the internet. It's very light. This is a very common case. An obstacle is in the way. Once again, I'll take the Smart Brush tool, here. I check my brush size. Here, all cursor should be on the left side, and the roundness at 100%. Good. As usual, I click and drag the mouse around. Around here, it gets complicated. Let's zoom in to see the problems. Those two vertical shapes should not have a bluish appearance. To fix it, I go back to the smart brush. Hit the subtract icon here. And I click on the areas in question. Oops, I take the add icon to get my blue color back. I continue down here. As you can see, it gets very confusing. To see the result, I click on the hand tool. Not bad. Let's see the black mask. I hit on the layer tab. Here's the mask. In order to see the mask itself, I hit the Alt key on my keyboard. And I click at the same time on the mask. 
On a Mac, use the Option key and click. I take once more the Smart Brush. Let's take a closer look. I take the Add icon to paint some blue area. Then the Remove icon. It's getting better. Now I'll check the trees. Here I can see a clear demarcation. That's better. Let's go back to the left. I click on the hand tool. Let's make a second improvement. And check the mask once more. Here we can clearly see that some black is missing, and also here. I take the smart brush again, and I remove some blue. Same thing for this area. That's better already. To see it all, I hit the hand tool. If you really want to make a perfect job, you can simplify the upper layer here. Right click on it and take Simplify Layer. To darken the blue sky, we'll take the Level command. So I take Enhance, Adjust Lighting, and Levels. Here I'll move this white cursor to the left. Oh, not that much. I go back to the right. Mm, 130 or so. Okay, it looks good. Let's make some more improvement. I take the zoom tool. Now I can see that this area should not be blue. Same problem with this vertical area. In order to fix the problem, I have to create a new mask with this icon here. I now take the polygonal lasso. So around the area in question. And I go back to my starting point here. I fill the area with black. So I take edit. Fill selection. I make sure it's black and I hit OK. I deselect with select and deselect. Let's do the same thing with this area. I take the zoom tool, polygonal lasso. I surround the area. Click here and there. And I go back to the starting point. And I fill the area with black. OK. I have to deselect with select deselect. That's better, except for this little white spot. So around the area in question. Make sure that the blue sky thumbnail is selected. Click on it. I'll take the smudge tool here. The brush is smooth. At 21 pixel, it looks good. Let's click and drag like this. Good, I deselect. With this trick, I think that you know how to improve the blue sky now. Simply use the smudge tool and the polygonal lasso all around the sky. In this case, with the sky filled with so many obstacles, it's too hard to work with the smart brush tool.
So I'll show you another method. First of all, you have to create a new layer. One way is to click this icon here. Or I can take layer, new layer. I give the name blue sky. And I hit OK. To get a nice blue color, I click on the foreground icon here. Around here you can type numbers, if it's not blue already. Ok, good. Now it's time to take the ordinary brush tool. Make sure you select a smooth brush. And it has to be very large. Check the brush setting. All those cursors on the left side and the roundness at 100%. The opacity at 100%. And I'm ready to go. Now to change the blending mode, I take the overlay option. What a change. You can play with the opacity. That would change the color, of course. In my case, that won't be necessary. To make the sky look less fake, use the Burn tool. Click here and select it. Here. Take the Mid-Tone option. Then check the size of the brush. In my case, 2000 is big enough. A few clicks will be necessary. Here... And maybe here. Okay. Now I have to create a mask. But first I have to stretch the corner a bit to see the whole picture. And then with this icon, I can create a new mask. It's all white, that's normal. Now it's time to duplicate the background. I click on it. Go to layer. And duplicate layer. OK. Then I have to remove the colors on the duplicate. I take Enhance, Adjust Color, and Remove Color. The next step is to use this duplicate as a mask. I take Select, All, Edit, and Copy. I deselect. Then I activate the mask. Go to Edit and Paste. I deselect. This layer is no longer necessary. I click on it and I hit the trash can. OK. Once more I activate the mask. When you're working on a mask, the only colors available are black and white. Now I have to increase the contrast on the mask. Then hence, adjust lighting and levels. Here I drag the cursor to the left. Now the sky is brighter.
Okay, that's better. Next, I'll use the brush tool here. I make sure it's a smooth brush. I change the dimensions to 500 pixels. And I start to paint like this. To see the result, I click back on the mask. Let's see now if the trunks and branches have any blue on them. I take the zoom tool. Absolutely not. That's good. What's happening is that the mask is hiding the blue pixels above the original photo on the top F area. To see my work, I click on the hand tool. Let's see before and after the improvement. Here's the blue sky. In order to keep your work, you can save it in the PSD format. This format allows you to rework your photo afterwards, if necessary. The JPEG is a flattened version, but it can be easily shared on the internet. It is very light. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye.